but one team that has already competed in Africa is a black starless. They hosted the Waffle Zombie Cup of Nations at the Cape Coast Sports Stadium. Unfortunately, they finished third in the tournament after beating Cote d'Ivoire in the third and fourth game. And the head coach of the team, Paco Isifeben, believes that the late testing of the players uh, for RMI was a reason why the team was unable to perform at its optimum best. I, I met the president of the FA yesterday and we had a lot of discussions concerning this MRI issue. Uh, hitherto, the FA were responsible for doing the MRI for the selected players. But I think it became a burden. So we asked the players to do it themselves. If we are after the, uh, what do you call it, the justified conclusion, we look at their registration cards to make sure they are within the age millimeter bracket that we are looking for. Then we ask them to go and do their own MRI, bring it, and then uh, it, will it will surprise you. When we, uh, we, the FA decided that we shouldn't take anybody above five, grade, grade five, and that all should be grade four now. So we're very confident that with grade four and within three months, it cannot uh, go beyond the, the limit that, uh, or beyond the, the federal limit. <laughs> so, even when uh, the president asked that we should do it again, we have done it before, and most of them had passed. So when the president asked that we should do it again, I was even skeptical. I said, ah, why? But it, I think it was a blessing in disguise, because otherwise, we would have been so sure of our boys that uh, they went got to the point that we were to come to the tournament, would have wiped out the team and maybe wouldn't have even raised the team uh, to come for this competition. Fortunately, uh, it was timely and we had about two, two weeks and some three days to raise another team quickly and that's why we are, we are brought here and I think we are third and I'm happy with it.